The three-axis Techno Computer Numerically Controlled, or CNC router, is a versatile tool for cutting a variety of shapes from sheet materials such as wood, plastic, and even aluminum. This machine features servo motors and ball screws for precise and accurate motion and is commanded by a universal machine programming language known as G-Code. Let's review the lesson objectives. By the end of this video, students will be able to power on and home the machine, change tools in the router spindle, clamp the workpiece to the machine table, verify the tool path will not interfere with clamps, set the XY work offset, set the Z-axis tool offset, load a G-code machine program file, visually verify the tool path using the preview function, and successfully run the automated cutting cycle. Begin by powering on the Techno Router Control Computer. Power on the Techno Router Machine. Launch the Techno CNC Control Interface. Press Home All. Each axis will move against its homing switches and back off one inch starting with the Z axis, then X, then Y. Here's that process again from a different angle. Choose zero all. The machine is now homed and zeroed. Turn off the router spindle before changing tools. There are two wrenches used, the spindle wrench on the left and the collet nut wrench on the right. Note the directional teeth on the collet nut wrench. Begin by placing the spindle wrench across the flats on the spindle. Next, use the collet nut wrench, ensuring the teeth are pointing in the direction of torque applied. Slide the wrench onto the collet nut from the bottom up, ensuring all teeth engage. Apply firm pressure between the wrenches to loosen the collet nut. A second application of the wrench may be needed to release the collet. If possible, hold the cutting tool while unscrewing to prevent it from falling out. Continue unscrewing the collet nut. Remove the collet by pressing firmly from the front while tilting from the back. Select a different collet to match the size of cutting tool you'll be using. Insert the collet into the nut by tilting and pushing firmly until a click is heard and felt. When properly inserted, the collet should not fall out of the collet nut. Install the collet nut to the router spindle, ensuring the threads engage smoothly without cross-threading. It may be helpful to rotate slightly in reverse to help the threads engage properly. Wrenches should not be used during this step. Insert the cutting tool into the collet, ensuring the collet grips on the smooth shank portion of the tool and not on the cutting flutes. Hold the tool while hand tightening the collet nut. Use the spindle wrench and collet nut wrench to tighten the collet nut with a firm pressure. Ensure teeth are oriented in the direction of torque applied. Place the stock material on the machine table against the XY fence. Here's a closer look. If the toolpath cuts near the outside edge of the stock, use spacer blocks to position the material a set distance away from the fence. After clamping, remove spacer blocks prior to cutting.
A one-to-one -one scale printed drawing of the finished workpiece can be helpful for visualizing where the cutting tool will go and where to place clamps. This drawing is printed on 11 by 17 paper and our stock size was cut to match. Install clamps to the T-slots in the machine table and slide them up toward the workpiece. Tighten the clamps with enough pressure to hold the workpiece, but not so much pressure that the clamp itself becomes damaged. After the clamps are installed, use the drawing to perform one final check that the clamps will not interfere with the toolpath. In our case, everything looks great. Back in the software, click the Setup button. Go to Offsets. Ensure an X is placed in the Use column for the offset labeled Fence. Do not change the X and Y numbers in this row. If the offset needs to be changed, double-click the appropriate space to move the X to that row. With the offset selected, click Use to apply it. Confirm by clicking Yes. Choose OK to return to the home screen. We will now move the machine to our X and Y origin. Click Go To. Click XY0. Ensure the tool is elevated above any clamps before clicking Go. The machine moves to the XY origin. Note the coordinates show approximately zero on X and Y. Visually verify the tool is directly above the part corner. Jog speed can be reduced with this slider. Jog the machine over the approximate center of the workpiece. Pick up the tool touchpad from near the control computer and place the thinner portion under the cutting tool. Select Tool, Touch Off Z0 Position. The tool will approach the touchpad and automatically retract once contact is made. Remove the tool touchpad from the workpiece and return it to the control station, avoiding snags of the cable. Jog the machine so the cutting tool is off the workpiece. At the control, select Go To. Enter zero in the Z coordinate. Keep a finger on the escape key to stop motion in case something goes wrong. Press Go. The tool will move down to Z0. Notice the bottom of the tool is at the same height as the top of the workpiece. Now let's open our file. Select File and choose the storage location. Find and select the proper .nc file. Click OK. Our file is now loaded. Pre-process the file. Note, the estimated runtime is shown. Ensure there is enough time remaining in class before proceeding. Click Preview. The toolpath is drawn on the screen. Several options are given on the right, such as Slow, which will allow you to preview the machine's motions. Here, we see the helical entry to our circular pocket. It's a good idea to look at the top view and to zoom to fit. Note the red lines represent the X and Y origin. White lines represent non-cutting rapid moves, while blue lines represent cutting moves. View the toolpath from the front and zoom to fit. Again, we see our helical pocket entries, but from this orientation, we see a better view of our contour ramping and our rapid moves as shown in white. 
Here is the Z-axis and the Z0 level. We can see how the tool lifts in the Z when moving between locations. Let's take a look at the side view now. Zoom to fit. This is a YZ plane view. Note the Z0 level. We'll take one final look at the isometric view before cutting. Zoom to fit. Everything checks out, so we'll close the preview. Clear the work area of any tools or unnecessary materials. Put on a face shield and earmuffs to protect against debris and noise. Turn on the dust collector. If anything goes wrong during cutting, use the e-stop on the front of the machine. Turn on the router spindle. Press Start. The control may prompt to load a tool. Since the tool is loaded, click Resume. Here, we've sped up the video a bit. In some cases, high-powered production routers can actually cut this fast. After about five minutes, our part is just about complete. Here are the last few moves. Turn off the dust collector. Let's remove the clamps. Finish by thoroughly vacuuming all dust from the router table and work area. Shut down the control computer. Turn off the Techno Router. We hope this is only the beginning of many great projects you'll make on the CNC router. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.